Hi everyone and welcome to NameHero.com's training tutorials. Today I want to show you how to create your own blog. Over the last 10 years blogging has become very popular to say the least. I mean basically anyone out there watching this video from whatever country you can create your own website, your own blog and you know you can have your voice heard by thousands if not millions of people from anywhere that has an active internet connection and nowadays with cell phones your reach can be tremendous. So I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do to set up your blog today. Okay, to get started, I'm going to show you one of my blogs. And um, you can navigate your browser to WrestlingNewsWorld.com and, and take a look. Um, this is one of my blogs that has to do with professional wrestling, um, WWE, TNA. Um, and so you can see we write articles here on our WordPress blog um, that are viewed by hundreds of thousands of people a month. This, is, this site's very popular. Um, and I started this back in the early 2000s, um, this website in particular. But I'm going to show you how to create something similar. And, you know, maybe you want to do this for just something as a hobby, but maybe you want to do it full time. You know, maybe you want to make money from it. And, and this website makes money um, every single month uh, based on advertisements and also subscriptions. But before you can even think about making money, you obviously have to start your own blog. You have to get set up and online and start writing. And, um, you know, after you start getting content, then you can start worrying about making money and all that. Okay, so to get started, you basically need to register a domain. Now, in my example, I just showed you the domain is WrestlingNewsWorld.com because that's my, my blog here is about wrestling. Okay, so you need to determine what, what your blog is going to, to be about. So what I'm going to do is just type in how to start a blog. Now we're going to find this is probably taken, um, but if you notice here at Name Hero, that's why we're using this engine here, is it gives many other TLDs. So how to start blog.net, you know, we're missing the A, but um, if we were, were to put A, the .net is taken. So how to start blog, how to start, we could even go how to start blogging. But that's the cool thing about this tool is you can search all these multiple TLDs really quickly. And TLDs just means difference between .com and net. Okay, how to start blogging. And we can look here at new. We see all kinds of, of new extensions. And you can see the most popular ones are going to be your .com, .net, .org. That's what I really try to go for. But, you know, some of these other ones can be kind of fun, especially if you're wanting to put it on social media or if you're wanting to advertise it. But we're going to still we're going to still keep trying here for a dot com net or org. So let's just go how to start blogging 101. And we can see how to start blogging 101.com is available. So we're going to click purchase here. And it may take you some time, it may take you an hour, it may take you two hours, it may take you even longer than that to get this um, set up, but just take your time with it. You want to pick a, um, you know, a really good name that's going to be memorable and um, something that's going to get in search engines. So what you want to do is the first thing is I always like to say is pronounceable, brandable.com. So you want to make sure the name's pronounceable, make sure it's brandable, meaning you can make a brand out of it, like Wrestling News World. Um, and then you want to make sure it's a .com. I mean, for the most part, you want you want to try to get the .com. If it's not available, then go for the .net or .org. Um, and then the, you know, the other um, extensions that you, that you see, you know, you can buy those and forward those or put them on a billboard or whatnot. But you, you want to try to go for one of the big ones because that's what's popular. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and proceed to the cart. Okay, so now we've got to... Um, select our options here. So DNS manager, we're not going to need this. We're not going to click this. Now ID protection, basically this protects your name from um, getting spam. So it's only $2.98. So I definitely recommend adding it. Email forwarding, you're not going to need that. So just leave that. Name servers, you're just going to leave this default and you'll click continue. Okay, now you can see we've got um, all that set up, the domains in here. So the next thing we need to do is we need to add our web hosting. So we're very simply just going to go click here, web hosting. Okay, so here's the deal. If you're going to start your blog in the United States, I mean, most of your traffic is going to be in the U.S. or um, the majority of the traffic is anyways, and maybe you're based in the U.S., then you want to click this U.S. Data Center tab. And that's going to make sure that your website is hosted 
in the in the United States. So anyone that's visiting from the United States or even yourself, it's going to be very quick. Um, now, if you're international, then you want to choose the EU data center, the Europe data center. Um, so that's definitely up to you and um, whichever uh, plan makes the most sense. Um, it's the same price, but it's just it just depends on where you're located. So I'm currently broadcasting here in the United States. So I'm going to keep it on the U.S. data center. Okay, now the starter package, that's what you're going to want to go with. Okay, now you have several options here. It's a cheaper price the longer you pay. So I recommend going in with the 36-month uh, price because basically you're going to um, get web hosting for $3.49 a month, and you really can't beat that. So that's what I recommend going with. Okay, so it's going to say use the domain or in my shopping cart. We're going to click use. And now you're going to see the 36-month price. We're going to click continue. And then it's just going to go ahead and confirm that, that ID. Okie doke. Now you can see here we've got everything set up. We've got our basic hosting plan. We've got our domain registration. Um, and we also have a nice discount on here. You can see there's a $90 discount. So it's only going to cost $128 and this is for three years. So that's a really good deal. I mean, just a couple dollars a month and we're going to start our own blog here. So we're going to click check out. Okay. So now we're going to fill out our personal information and, um, complete our payment and then we'll continue. So one second while I pause this, just so I can get this filled out and, um, paid for. And then we'll go to the next step. Okay, after you get your payment made and stuff and, and all that good stuff submitted, you can go into the client area here of NameHero.com. Now this is very simple and straightforward. Since you already set up and configured your domain, the only thing you need to do now is install the blogging platform. Well, the cool thing about that is it's all automated and it's very simple. So you want to go here and you want to click on Login to cPanel. And you can see this shows you all the information you need to know about your domain you just purchased. So we're going to click Login to cPanel. And that's going to take us right here. This is where you control your entire blog. This is um, it's a good example. This on your computer, you might be using uh, Mac OS or you might be using Windows. Uh, so this is like the operating system behind your blog. So it's, uh, this is a control panel. So what you want to do is you want to scroll down towards the bottom and you want to look at word for WordPress. It's right here. If you don't want to uh, scroll, you can also type it. You can also type in WordPress there. And for some reason it's taking a little bit longer to load, but we're just going to go ahead and click it. Okay. So once we get in here, um, this is all we need to do to install it. Basically, if you're not familiar with WordPress, you can read through here and you can read all the all the good stuff about it and what all it does. Um, but I, I'm the type of person that I like to just install it and, and dive right in with it. So that's what we're going to do here. So we're going to click install. Okay, so now we just have to select a few options here and we're going to have our blog up. So we need to choose our protocol. I like to do the www. So that's, it's just personal preference for me, but it's up to you. Um, of course, our domain is howtostartblogging101.com. Now, our directory. Okay, so let's go back to wrestlingnewsreal.com. This domain, one of my blogs, the blog is installed on the main site. So when you go to wrestlingnewsreal.com, the blog comes up. So if you want yours like that, if you want, when we go to how to start blogging101.com for the blog to come up, we want to leave this box blank. So we're just going to delete WP. Simple enough. We're going to go down here for database settings, table prefix, we're going to leave that default. Next, we're going to enter the name of our site, how to start blogging. Uh, site description, let's just say complete information on how to start a blog. So just give it a little tagline. Okay, enable multi-site. We're not going to do that. Um, and you can hover over this and it says this feature will enable multi-site option for your WordPress blog. Um, so that's if you're going to have multiple sites on this WordPress installation. You're not. Um, so we're going to leave that um, unchecked. Okay, the next thing is we need to make an admin username and, and password. Okay, so I don't like to use admin. So we're just going to put how to. We're going to use that. And we're going to use this to generate a password. Make sure you copy that down because if you lose it, 
It's we our support department can reset it, but it's a little bit of a pain in the butt. So next, you want to enter your admin email address. This email address is where you're going to recover your password if you lose it, or uh, you know if you um, if you the default contact and stuff like that. So enter your email right here. I'm going to leave this as default, but if you have another email you're using, say a Gmail, go ahead and enter that there. Next, you can select your language. I speak English, and you're going to use English, so I'm going to keep it in English. Feel free to change that uh, as necessary. Okay, there's some plugins here, such as limit login attempts. That's a pretty good one, so we can just go ahead and add that. Under advanced options, there's some other stuff here. Um, database name, you can leave that uh, normal. Um, dis update or disable update notifications. You can hover over each one of these info Every boxes, and it'll tell you more. Advanced options. But um, really, to get your blog online, thing. you can just. Ignore now, the here's rest the cool thing about WordPress um, is, we can, we can you know, you want to have a customized blog. Well, you want to have a custom theme. You don't want to have the default WordPress theme. Um, so if you look here on my Wrestling News World blog that I showed, it's got a custom theme. It's not just the default WordPress. So what you can do is you can scroll through these themes that we have pre-installed for you. And there's a lot of them in here. And you can find one. Now, this is optional. You can go search through the Internet for other WordPress themes. Some are free. Um, you can buy some. But these all on this page here are professionally uh, coded and free. So uh, most more than likely, you're going to find one on here that um, really fits your needs, especially to get you started. Uh, too many people spend way too much time trying to find the exact right theme when they don't even have any content. So I prefer to see you actually find your theme right here and then start blogging a little bit. Start getting that content up and then you can change the theme later. That's, that's really easy to do. And so you, you can also see, you know, if you're, say, an, an attorney, um, there's pre-made sites for you. And you can see that's, that's super, super easy to get going here if you, if you are an attorney or, or a professional organization. So what we can do is we can just scroll back here in some of the more basic blogs. Let's just say, let's take a look at this one. Okay, yeah, this is going to, looks like a, a nice little um, theme to get started on here. I don't like how these posts and stuff are here. So what we're going to do is we're going to select that one. So we've got it selected. Make sure select. Okay, scroll down. Okay, now all we have to do is push install and this will get going for us. Now if you want to... Say you have a technical person that may be overseeing your site or helping you out, you can enter their email address right here. But we're not going to do that. We're just going to click install. Okay, so this whole, the next process here, just it's going to take five minutes, maybe at the max, just while it installs everything for you. Maybe shorter than that. Okay, and you can see, congratulations, the software was installed successfully. So now if you go to your domain, you're going to see you have a website going now. Your blog's up. So now you can go in and start um, customizing it. So to do that, you're going to notice you have an administrative URL. And this is um, where you're going to actually make your blog posts and all that. So remember, we made our username how to and we copied that real strong password down. So we're going to log in. And um, this is where you're going to do everything. So um, if you want to write a post, you can click post, add new post, welcome post, welcome to my site and um, you can add images all kinds of stuff in here and you can just get in here and start playing around with it um, you're not going to master wordpress overnight but i definitely recommend going in and just playing around adding new posts and playing with all the options in here and getting familiar with the formats getting familiar with the categories and the tags and even the featured images and um, because you can't break it and that's going to let you understand how you're going to publish your blog post so what we did is we just click publish so we can click um, view posts, okay, and we can see um, this is the post we just made. It says, welcome to my site. Uh, so you can see our blog is now online, and, um, you know, we can start posting right now. And um, what we can do is we can actually go to, we can click on themes here from our dashboard. And, you know, if you want to change it to a um, different theme, if you, if you didn't like the one you just installed, um, there's some other ones that are already installed for you. Um, so you, that's the cool thing I like about WordPress is you can just get started with a theme. You look at it and say, yeah, it doesn't look too good. Then you can change it. So look, I just changed this to this theme here. And that's the welcome post. Um, so maybe, you you know, you want to go with more of just a, a, bl a, a bland look, uh, which we see a lot of bloggers doing that nowadays. Um, anyways, you're going to see sometimes WordPress has updates. And so you're going to see that happen right here. 
And this is actually a theme update. So to make sure it stuff's upgraded or updated, you just click it and um, it'll automatically update. It doesn't take too long, but that just makes sure your site runs smoothly. You always want to make sure that anytime you have a notification that you resolve that. Um, and you can also go to um, customize here and you can start making edits to the site, such as um, you know, the site identity. We set that up earlier. Um, but if you want to add an image to the header, you could do that right here. If you want to add a background image, you could do that here. Um, if you want to add menus, you know, you can do that here. So there's all kinds of different things you can start doing with WordPress. But you know, really, until you dive in and start working with it, you're not going to um, not going to know. So that's why I recommend once you get everything up and going, um, you go and you get you sit in WordPress here and you play around um, until you absolutely master it. Now, obviously, my um, my wrestling news world blog, this wasn't created overnight. This has been many, many years, over 10 years that I've been working on this, on this blog and getting it as popular as it is. But the main thing that drives this site is the content. So as you can see, it didn't, you don't have to be a, a coder or understand HTML or PHP or be some whiz kid to start your own blog. All you have to do is be able to write. And so as you can see here, you can start blogging right now. You can start writing your content and getting that published and getting it out um, and then starting to get your blog popular. So that's what I recommend as the next step is start writing. Start writing every single day. Um, you know, hopefully you're starting your blog about something that you're passionate about, something that um, you're smart about. Um, and, you know, that, that works out really nice. So that's uh, I'm going to conclude this tutorial. I'm going to be back with a little bit more advanced stuff on, you know, how to go about um, really customizing your blog and even how to make money on your blog. But I think this does a, a good introduction to how to start your blog. And really, it's been less than 15 minutes we've been recording. And we've actually bought our domain. We've set up our web hosting. We've installed the blog. And now we're posting on the blog here. And it's not even been a half hour. So it really is that simple. Feel free to comment below if you have any questions. So thanks so much.